What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing yet another banger of a team for Series 2 to help you guys push high tier. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team actually features one of my favorite support Pokemon of all time. That is going to be Light Clay Grimmsnarl. And that is going to be the first Pokemon to get us started here with today's team preview. It's got Light Clay, as I already mentioned. Prankster adds its ability. Rock and Spirit Break, both Reflect and Light Screen. And then we got Misty the Terrain to counter terrain teams such as Indeedee and Armourouge. We got Arcanine for our second Pokemon. This might be my second favorite support Pokemon. This one has Intimidate with the Mirror Herb as its item, Rock and Flare Blitz, Snarl to drop special attack, Extreme Speed for first turn priority, and then it has Terror Blast, which will turn into water considering this is a Water Terror Arcanine. We got Iron Hands as our third Pokemon, and this is going to be the only Paradox Pokemon on this team. It's got Quirk Drive, it has Citrus Berry, but it's not Rock and Fake Out. This one is here just for the sole purpose of doing some big time damage. It's got Drain Punch, Wild Charge, Sword Stance, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Storm Drain Gash Sign. Great at countering water Pokemon. Love this Pokemon so much. It's got Covert Cloak as its item, Rocking Muddy Water, Earth Power, Recover to recover HP, and Protect for its final move. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Dragonite, and Dragonite's going to be super strong on the, today's team. It's got multi-scale, it has that Assault Vest to bulk up against special attackers, and then it's Rocket Terror Blast, which is Terror Type, is going to be Flying, Extreme Speed for first turn priority, Stomping Tantrum, and Ice Spinner. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be our supportish slash solid attacker, Talonflame. Talonflame can do can always work both sides. Solid physical attacker, solid uh speed control Pokemon with the tailwind. But this one has Gale Wings and the Mago Berry as item. Rocking Acrobatics, Tailwind, Taunt, and Will O Wisp. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Light Clay, Grimmsnarl, and Multi Scale Dragonite team. First match coming at you guys. We're going up against a weird one. We're going up against a Sneasel team with Mudsdale, Arcanine, Frigoraph, Annihilate. And a Moonga. So it's definitely a Trick Room team. We're going to have to watch out for it looking a little bit scary. But I kind of want to leave Grimmsnarls. I love getting off the screens, making my team super bulky. So let's do it. Let's rock out with that. So we're going to go Grimmsnarl. We are going to go in with. I could go with. I could go with Iron Hands. I could definitely go Iron Hands if I want to. But we know he's going to go Frigoraph. Iron Hands could be good in Trick Room, so I might just set up a Swords Dance and try to get after it. I think that's going to be my play. Go Swords Dance with the uh, with the Iron Hands and try to roll off from there. What's your speed at? 76. Okay. It's not terrible. Your special defense is really high, so I do like that. So I'm going to go in with them, too. I am going to bring Dragonite. E-Speed Dragonite could be very good. I kind of dig it. And same thing with you, right, Gaston? We should just go all out Trick Room here. I think we need our Slow Pokemon. Muddy Water is going to be great up against Mudsdale. Same thing with Arcanine. I'm with it all day. And then we have the Flying Tower for that Amoongus. And, and for that Annihilate. I'm digging it. I'm going to try to set up a Sword Dance here. Turn 1. Turn 1 looking to do it. Turn 1 looking to do it. Hopefully we can grab, grab ourselves a win here. And continue our hot streak. Considering we went 3-0 yesterday. With a very strong team. This team is just as good. Very strong. But I feel like I would play better with the other team. The Max Caliber and all that. But I just love first turn priority moves. I was ripping with it yesterday. I was absolutely ripping with it yesterday. But they are going to end up leading... The Dale of the Muds alongside with Sneasel. So Sneasel can fake me out. Sneasel has the fake out option. I think Reflect is going to be the simple play. I could Terrasilize, which I think is just a simple play again. So we can dodge the ground moves and just try to get off a of Swords Dance. Because again, if we get off a of Swords Dance, we're going to be thriving well. We're definitely going to be thriving well. But I wonder who you're going to fake out, right? You're probably going to fake out my Iron Hands, right? I could definitely see that happening. Thinking I'm going for a fake out. It's all good. We we'll get off screen, though. No Trick Room users, which is solid. I mean, not really considering I bought my Trick Room squad, but, but we'll deal with it. But yeah, I'm terrestrializing straight in the grass. I'm not dealing with any ground moves from Mudsdale, like high horsepower or EQ. They just all pose a threat. So terrestrialization is going to be the play. And we'll get after this. Let's see what our opponent wants to do here. We set up the Reflect. No Fake Out comes out here. I can get down with that. No Fake Out. What are you going for? Are you going for? Oh, oh, oh! Chill on me! Stamina's gonna boost his defense. We have Gash on for that for this Pokemon. This defense is going to be bulk. So he's gonna bulk its defense. I think we just kind of focus on the, the right slot until we have to go after the Mudsdale. I think that's our play. 
Mudsdale looking insane. Looking insane. I used to use a Grimstar and Mudsdale team in Sword and Shield, and that was my favorite team I ever used in Sword and Shield. And you would legit swagger it, and since it had own tempo, it would just get a free plus two boost, and it would just start shredding after Dynamax. So Body Press comes out there. We absolutely soaked that up all day. And now from here, I could go into a Misty Terrain if I wanted to, but Spirit Break's gonna be my call. And I think I'm gonna do that. I could actually Sword Sands here again. I might just double down to Sneasel. Get rid of Sneasel. He's gonna boost his defense up again. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get rid of Sneasel. I'm gonna get rid of the Sneasel. Again, he's too bulked up on the defensive side. So I can't really deal with it until we can, right? I wish my Iron Hands would go first so I can get more HP. But Speed's gonna drop here. Spirit Break gonna fly here. I know this thing's definitely sashed. So that's why I double down into it. And we'll kind of go from there. The Focus Sash comes out here. I think he's going to go for a Body Press to take out my Grimmsnarl. That is an option. But we'll see. We shall see. We get back 1 HP here. Amazing. Lovely. And from here, again, I just feel like I go into Gastro. I feel like I just go into Gastro. Body Press. Now you're going back into Iron Hands. Okay, so Iron Hands sitting here. Hopefully I can bulk up a shot. I mean, we have the Barry right there, which is huge. Big time. So we get back 60 HP. Probably allowing us to eat up the next shot and get off another Drain Punch. But if they throw out a special attacker, we're obviously just going to set up a light screen. And this is my Grimmsnarl. It's so good. It's going to be Frigoraph. So Frigoraph is going to come out here. And ch -ch -ch, light screen, probably a play. I'm going to pop a light screen. And I'm just going to Drain Punch into Frigoraph. Get back as much HP as I possibly can. And he goes for the hard swap. What was up with that hard swap? Into who? What was that play for? It's actually a very smart play. So he forces the Drain Punch just to waste out of turn. I think that was just a waste to just a waste of turn. I really like that play there. That was an amazing play. So we slowly just like decreasing my HP. Um, from here, I'm just gonna spirit break you. Kinda sucks, but we're gonna pop defiant. And I'm gonna go for the wild charge. I don't mind if you die out after this. I do not mind if you die out. So we go for the wild charge. He's gonna terrestrialize, maybe into straight fighting. Again, we still have Dragonite, and I really like Dragonite here for the uh Oh no, you go straight. Fire, which isn't bad. We have the muddy water. We have the muddy water Pokemon. We have to start ripping in this thing. We are gonna pop the fine, which kind of sucks. It is kind of terrifying, right? He's gonna bulk up on defense. I'm terrified. These two are just absolutely bulked up. But muddy water is definitely gonna help us out here. We pop the fine, which is mm, terrible, terrible. And their Pokemon just boosted. We definitely need our Pokemon out here. Wild Charge can come through here. Chip up some nice damage. Drain Punch would have been really good for us there. And he's going to Body Press. Can we soak this one up? We do. We do soak up that one. So we soak that up. We still have screens. How many turns left in the screens is the real question. Still have plenty of time. Plenty of turns left in that. Um, I don't really know what we do here, right? We have Gastro. We have Dragonite. They have Frigoraph. Uh, you are going to be very good. Stopping Tantrum. I like your Flying Terror as well. I like your Terror type here too. This is just a pain right now, right? It's just just a pain. I could swap into Dragonite, but I don't really know. Just for fake out purposes, but... I guess we'll just hit up on you and... I'm going to try to get rid of the Annihilate. Lovely little Annihilate. Annihilate Protect. Solid Protect from him. Mudsdale probably just finally getting rid of this Iron Hands. This has just been a solid game all around. I'm going to chip up a little bit of damage. I think this thing gets another defense boost, right? <laughs> Is it rocket and stamina? Yeah. Stamina gives another defense boost. I think it's plus five now. Wow, I could have doubled down to Mudsdale. Ripped into that thing. The body press going to fly here. And we still have screens. And you go, you body press into that. That's a little weird. It's a little odd. Right? That's definitely a little odd. I really don't want a Defiant pop again, so this is our play. And if I can get off another Drain Punch, <laughs> we'll go here. But you just want the leftovers HP. Drain Punch flies. That okay, was me. I need my Gastrodon to land some shots here, right? I'm terrified because this thing's plus two on attack. Actually, plus three on attack. They're just going to rip into my Gastro. Um, I could go into Dragonite because Dragonite might be faster. Dragonite might be faster, right? <clears throat> but again, that, that special or that defense boost is terrible for us. 
I think before we get out Gastro, we have to get out. Well, there we go. Looks like we're getting out Gastro anyway. Looks like we're getting out Gastro. I was going to say, before we get out Gastro, we kind of need to get rid of this Annihilate. It looks like we're getting them both out. So I'm going to go into Gastro here. Place it on the left. We're going to go into my boy right here. I could actually E-Speed. I could protect and just straight up start E-Speeding down this... uh. This Annihilate, but it's not going to do any damage. Their, put, their defense is way too high. So we need Gastron just to start landing Muddy Waters. It's our best bet. And then from here, I'm... I'm not even going to try slides just yet. I'm going to keep my typing, right? But yeah, I don't want to change into solid... Solid flying just yet. So I'm just going to go straight into this. Let's get after this. Come on, Muddy Waters, I need you. This is such a good battle. There's no need for us to Tarasalize right now. There's just no need. He doesn't have any super effective moves on to us. He's just going to Rage Fist me. So he Rage Fists me down. Can we soak this up? Gasho eats. We get off a Stompy Tantrum. Can we land this Muddy Water before Muzzle goes? We do. That's big time. That's big time. Hold up. Wait a minute. That actually did not do as much damage as I wanted it to do. But it's good to know that we outspeed the Mudsdale. It is really good to know that we do outspeed the Mudsdale. He's so bulky, though. Mudsdale, what are you going for? Body press. You take out my Gastro. Alright, so we're chilling here. We got these Pokemon left. How do I play up against this Mudsdale? Do we think it has Rock Slide? It could definitely have Rock Slide. For Rigoraf comes out here. For Riggs. For Rigoraf comes out here. And... I don't have Terrasalization. Who do I use my Terra for? Oh my god, I used my my Iron Hands for Terra so long ago. Alright, never mind. We can't Terra Blast. Uh, Ice Spinner. We could start Ice Spinnering you down. But I feel like you might protect me. You might pop a trick him, correct? I'm still gonna go for it, because Mudsdale's really the only problem here. Mudsdale-y. You're gonna Thunder Wave me? How dare you? I still have Multi-Scale. We are gonna be slower than the Mudsdale now? And our opponent's playing really well here. This first match. Not going away. And of course, we're paralyzed. But yeah, yo, this defense boost alongside with Annihilate really, really did me dirty. So body press isn't really doing anything. My reflect is gone. That hurts the soul. And we're just going to go for more ice spinners. We're just going to go for more ice spinners. But I feel like our opponent's locking it down right now. Can't really KO the Mudsdale. <laughs> it's too bulky. Skill swap coming in here. So you're going to take my multi scale. I mean, I don't have it anymore. I get your armor tail. Actually, that's actually really good for him. Taking my multi scale. He's at full HP. It's really good. Ice Spinner comes out here. We still outspeed the Mud which is nice. And yeah, we're just not doing enough damage. Body press flying through here. It's wraps. It is definitely wraps here. I'm just gonna run this battle. We're gonna take take the loss on the chin. We're 0-1. Let's hop to our second match. Look for our first victory. Hopping into our second match. Let's grab ourselves our first victory. Going up against a T-Tar and Garchomp Sandstorm team, alongside with Amoongus, Talonflame, Iron Hands, and Rotom Heat. Not gonna lie, Gastron is actually pretty solid typing-wise up against a lot of these Pokemon, but speed-wise, not so hot, not so hot. But I do still really like Gastron, so I definitely want to bring in this Pokemon. Um, I do believe they might lead a Pokemon like Titar or Garchomp, so Grimstar is not gonna be bad. We set up screens, we have super effective Spirit Break. I really do like that. We could also lead Iron Hands, or we can completely take Speed Control with Talonflame, which I kind of really like. We can throw Burns on it as well. I'm gonna go Talonflame. So Talonflame, Grimstar are gonna come in here. We are gonna bring Gastron, and then either Dragonite or Iron Hands, correct? Yeah, that makes the most sense, because Dragonite's gonna be super effective with Terrasalization up against Amoongus, up against... Iron Hands, which is really good. And then we also have Ice Spinner for Dragonite. Or not Dragonite, for uh, Garchomp. I do like that. And then we have Stompy Tantrum, which it's not too bad. It is not too bad. I kind of like Dragonite here. Let's rock out with Dragonite. Let's rock out with Dragonite. I do like Iron Hands here too, but I just think Dragonite's going to give us a bit more value. It's a bit faster, plus we have E-Speed on it. So I get down with that. And we have the, uh, don't we have the Soul Vest on that thing? I believe we do. Make it a bit more bulkier up against a special attacker such as uh, such as Rotom over there. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So we're gonna see if he throws out. It's gonna be Garchomp and Talonflame. So I, I could throw a burn straight on that uh, that Garchomp, which wouldn't be a bad play. Or I could Spirit Break it. I could do a lot. I could do a lot. And I'm thinking I'm just throwing this Reflect up. Obviously, turn one. And I could taunt him, but I'm just gonna throw the Will O Wisp. If you want to Tailwind, you could Tailwind. I don't think you. Oh, you could Rock Slide if you Tailwind. That could be scary. But we do have Reflect. Just straight up with Charles Garchomp. What are you going to go into? Show me physical attacker. Amoongus probably, right? It's going to be Rotom. Wow. Hurts soul. 
Hurts the soul. So Tailwind comes out from him. I can get a, a, a free Tailwind next turn as well, which is going to be good for us. And I could actually... Mm, what do I want to do? I'll probably set up a Light Train here. Thunderbolt's a little scary. Thunderbolt is a little scary. I mean, we don't have to set up Tailwind just yet. We don't have to if we don't want to. We can do this, and we could just hard swap into, like, Gastron. And then just have Muddy Water, right? That that looks pretty good. We're going to withdraw the Talon Flame. I don't want to waste Terrasalization. I don't want that thing getting hit by a, a Bolt. So we'll let him have speed for a little bit here. It's not that big of a deal. They're going to outspeed us anyway in the Tailwind. So we might as well wait and have our Talon Flame in the back end. The Brave Bird's going to fly here. I think you're doubling down, right? Are you going to go for that Thunderbolt in this slot? What are you doing? We had Reflect out there, so Reflect helped us out tremendously. And there's the Thunderbolt. So we call from us. He actually doubled down. Doubled down in that slot. So now from here, I could... Hmm. This would have damage for Dragon-type moves. I have no Dragon-type moves, but they do have Garchomp. So maybe I want to set that up. Not really, right? I could actually get that special attack drop over onto Rotom. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to throw Muddy Water across the board. My best bet. So Will-O-Wisp comes out here. I'm dodging it. That's fine. We're special attacking. It really wouldn't have done anything crazy. So Thunderbolt's going to fly. Look how much we're soaking. Lovely. Spirit Break's going to fly here. Give us that big time special attack drop. And now Gash is going to go to town. Get, getting some work done on some fire Pokemon. So Muddy Water comes out here. Who dodged it? Talon Plane dodged it. Okay, we'll deal with that. And that does some big time damage on the Rotom. So he's going to eat a berry. Another Muddy Water KOs the Rotom. So I'm just going to Muddy Water and... Spirit breaking the Talon Flame, just in case it's sashed. But it actually already took a little bit of damage from Brave Bird. But still, same thing. We're doing it. You might swap somebody. You never know. You never know. But yo, we got screens out. Gastron's going to town. He withdraws Rotom. And he's going to go into T-Tar, potentially? Or Garchomp again. Amoogus comes out here. Lovely little Amoogus. And you're going to will o -Wisp me. Like, that's fine. I don't, I don't mind the will o -Wisp. It's just going to do burn chip up damage. It's not going to neglect any of my attack damage. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. So again, we have Dragonite for that. We have Dragonite for that Amoogus, which is going to be good. Muddy Water's going to fly again here. Can you hit the Talon Flame, please? Cool. You hit the Talon Flame. Did not touch the Amoogus, and we get rid of Talon Flame. The Talon Flame is a goner. It's a goner. Amoogus looking rather annoying, right? Look at that little Pokemon looking rather annoying. He might actually can't put my Gash on to sleep now. I actually like that we got burned. That's actually big time. Tailwind's gone from them. We have Talon Flame in the back end. We have acrobatics with that thing as well. We have ice spinner for this thing. Okay, I, I kind of like where we're sitting. I can get down with it. I can get down with it. And at this point, we're just going to go for spirit break. And I could just go for muddy water. Or I could heal up. Yeah, we're just going to go for muddy water. We're going to try to get off as much damage as we can with Garchomp. Iron Head flies through here. We're able to soak. Able to soak. Thank you, screens. No. No terrestrialization or rage powder comes out of here. So Garchomp's just free to hit right now. Muddy Water flies. You gotta be sporing somebody. Or maybe even Palm Puff in the guard shop. We get an accuracy drop on that Amoogus, which is huge. And the accuracy drop? Oh no, you went after Gastro with that? What, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? You went after Gastrodon with that? I guess he didn't didn't really remember that he was burned. But from here, we're gonna we're gonna rely on our Muddy Water taking out the guard shop. And we're just gonna go from here. I wouldn't be surprised to see our opponent actually cancel. He ends up withdrawing. Okay, this game's wraps. This game's wraps. It's wraps. It is wraps. We're taking out Rotom here, no problem. We're taking out Garchomp here as well. But he wants to do that just so he want to hit his opposing Pokemon. And my Gastron's going to be able to eat that. And that's all we really needed is Gastron eat it. So Gastron eats. We'll pick up the double kill if Muddy Water lands on both, which it finally does. Game set match. Game set match. Because now I just bring out my boy... Uh, Dragonite, I could Terrasalize, get rid of the Moongus, and then we just kind of just get after that thing. Or I could bring out Talonflame, but what do I want to do? It really depends who that last Pokemon is. Is it T-Tar? Could be. Could be. But that would just make us maybe not Terrasalize. It's going to be a Moongus and who else? A Moongus and who's your final Pokemon? Who is your final Pokemon? Wait a minute, we took out three already? Why can't I remember who we took it out? Oh, yeah, we dumped on Talonflame. Oh, this game's wraps. Yeah, this game's absolutely wraps. We could Terrasalize, but I really don't feel like it, to be honest with you guys. And I'm just going to go into an Earth Power and Ice Spinner. <laughs> I don't feel like I don't feel like wasting time with that animation, right? Ice Spinner's doing plenty of damage. He's going to put me to sleep, isn't he? You're going to put me to sleep. Don't you dare put me to sleep. Earth Power, we're fine here, even if you put me to sleep here. You're going to Palm Puff me. 
gonna KO my gastro? You gotta crit! You're gonna KO my gastro! <laughs> Thrasilization would've won us that game easier, but again, I didn't want to waste time with the animation. Didn't want to waste you guys' precious time. Now we just bring out Talonflame, who we had in here turn one, but hard swapped in the beginning. Like I said, the speed control didn't really matter at that point, so I just swapped into Gastron just to protect this bird for later usages. But we, did, we don't need it. We should, we should go for Ice Spinner. We go for an Acrobatics. Game, set, match. Our opponent's got to cancel now, right? Unless he wants this poor little mushroom to die. Unless he wants that poor little mushroom to die. But I feel like our opponent's sitting there like calculating like every possible way that he can win this match. If he misses this Ice Spinner, misses this. Oh, he just... <laughs> He just sends a rage fatter, throws up the white flag. He's like, I'm done. I lost and lets this poor little mushroom die out. Acrobatics takes it out. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1-0. Whoa. Yo, we get poison. We get poison. But we're not 1-0. We're 1-1 uh, one one for today's video. Let's hop into our third and look for a winning record. Third and final match coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. We're going up against a Frigoraph Trick Room ish team right trick room ish team <laughs> alongside with flutter main golden go iron hands brute bonnet and talent flame so that's why i said trick room ish team considering they have Farigraph and town flame so they can go either way with this they could definitely go either way i feel like leading maybe like you iron hands could be good because we could potentially set up like a free sword stance here correct i like it so we're gonna go in with you i like grimstarl grimstarl is just a dog setting up the screens it's just awesome. So I'm just going to go into Screen Scream Snarl, try to set up a Sword Stance, and then just have Iron Hands do a lot of the heavy lifting. I can get down with that. I can definitely get down with that. I could also go into a Pokemon like Dragonite, but I don't know how I feel about that. Arcanine's not too bad for the Intimidate drops, but I, I, I think we got to go Dragonite here. We're going to go Dragonite. We got the ground moves to deal with a few different Pokemon. We have the flying moves to deal with the Brute Bonnet. I like that. So Dragonite's going to come in here, and then do we go Gastro again? I feel like Fluttermane is just one of our problems, right? We could go into Arcanine. I mean, Arcanine's not too bad with the Dark Move, Snarls, Intimidates. But at that point, we'll have Screens up. So maybe we just go Gastro. Maybe we just go Gastro. And I can get down with some Gastron action. Let's do it. Gastron was clutch in that last battle. Definitely won MVP in that last match. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how it turns out here. I can get down with it. Considering it's pretty bulky, it usually is able to get off the turn. We can always recover, play Stall if uh, behind Screens. So... I like it. I like it a lot. They end up going Golden Go and Iron Hands. So we got Grim Snarl and our Iron Hands. And Light Screen's probably got to be replay, right? And I'm going to go for the Sword Sands. I'm going for the Sword Sands. And I'm going to go for the Light Screen. We'll try to set up this Light Screen just for Golden Go purposes. I don't want it just absolutely ripping into me. And Fake Out comes here. And he's just going to take out my Grim Snarl, no problem. So Grim Snarl is a goner. Grim Snarl is a goner! Grim Snarl's a goner. He's a goner. <laughs> it's all good. I don't mind that. So we get off no screens, but but we're dancing with swords. We're dancing with swords. But we're dancing with swords. I like that. Okay. So we dance up with swords. I could go into you. I could go into you. Who would? Who do I want more here? Uh, we can go Gastro. I don't mind Gastro. We'll go into Gastro. So Gastro comes out here. I think we just start drain punching down this Iron Hand just so we get back up more HP. I could also Sword Stance up here again. I don't want to. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling the Sword Stance. We still have the Barry left over, so I'm going to Sword Stance and I'm just going to go into a Earth Power over on the Golden Go, who we might actually end up swapping. So I'm going to try to plus two up on this, uh, on this Sword Stance. We don't have screens, we have a berry, but Drain Punch can hit very hard after that and get us back a ton of HP. Fluttermane is a problem. We know Fluttermane's a problem. Like, which draw is you? Who are you going into? You going into Fluttermane? Potentially, right? This Fluttermane? Maybe we shouldn't have Swords Hands here. It is going to be Fluttermane. The Fluttermane now comes out here. You end up with and Iron Hands too. Went for the Double Swords Dance pop. Went for it, baby. You want the Brute Bonnet. The Drain Punch can absolutely rip into that thing. We definitely want to Terrasilize our Iron Hands next turn. And that's what exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to Terrasilize you after this. We're Swords Hands plus four. Wild. Bananas. It's just bananas. Earth Power is going to fly onto you. And chunk up some nice damage. I like the damage there. We don't get the drop, but yeah. Terrasilization is an absolute must go here. We're going to Drain Punch over into that slot. Just to get back HP that we're going to lose. And I am just feel like we just constantly Earth Power just Flutter Main down. He might even Thrasilize his Pokemon, which he does not, because my animation comes out here first. So Brute Bonnet's a goner. Brute Bonnet's definitely a goner. 
Unless it protects, right? Which would be the smart play to protect. But we'll see. We shall see. We have the Grass Terror, which helps us out tremendously. Moonblast is going to fly here. And a Gastrodon. What do you think I was protecting here? And you go for a Spore. I'm Grass type now. <laughs> I'm Grass type now. Drain Punch coming in hot here. Get it on out of here, yo. Plus four. We go back to full HP. Yo. Our opponent's in a tough spot. I don't think he knows what to do. Because his Flutterman was kind of its only answer towards my Iron Hands. And now that Terra <laughs> slides into grass, he's like, oh no. Dear Neptune. We end up earth powering, doing some nice damage. Um, we can't e speed that thing unless it terrestrializes. He's gonna go back in the golden go. And at this point, I think we just wild charge, right? Wild charge earth power. I could recover, but I think we're fine. I think we're fine here. He ends up protecting that. That's chilling. That's chilling. We're gonna get rid of Gastro here. We still have our berry to eat up to. You're gonna trick me. We don't have our berry anymore. How dare you? What you give me? What item you give me? Choice Scarf. Okay, now you just gave me speed. I can't get HP back, but you gave me some speed. I'm gonna take mean recoil damage to this, but you gave me speed. <laughs> I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. We don't take too much recoil damage. And Earth Power is gonna get blocked. Gave me some speed to help me out. Thank you, kind sir. Do I have a choice into Wild Charge? Your choice into Wild Charge, and you're gonna throw out we swap him? Can Dragonite 1v1 that? I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna just double down to Fluttermane. I feel like getting rid of Fluttermane is probably a play. Money, we're gonna money water this one. Ooh, we're choosing the Wild Charge. We might have to swap him. We might have to swap my boy. I do have Stomping Tantrum. They still have Terror type. We have Ice Spinner if they want to throw us in the grass. Um, hmm. I mean, so plus four wild charge seems like it's got to do some nice damage. Let's see what typing they terrestrialize into. Gotta be grass, right? It's grass. We have ice spinner to kind of get after that. Okay. Ice spinner. I mean, drain punch could could be useful. Moonblast gonna fly here. We're gonna go after you. Wow, that actually did a nice chunk of damage. Wild charge gonna fly here. We get rid of you. And we're gonna see what he wants to do. I could start recovering. Do you outspeed Astro? It would be lovely if you had speed. I don't think you do. No, and you're rocking Ice Punch. Oh, and you're able to soak. You're able to soak. Money Water flying through here. Give me the Accuracy Drop. Give me the Accuracy Drop. Help me out a little bit. You got a crit. I think you have to go after... I think you have to go after my Iron Hands here, right? So I'm just going to recover. I mean, actually, our, our recoil damage is going to take us out. So we're just going to get back some HP here. This might turn to a 1v1. Wild Charge, how much damage are you doing? Wow. <laughs> wow. That's powerful. So recoil damage is going to take us out here. He's probably going for just a nice little drain punch. Makes the most sense. Maybe I should just hard swap it. That could have been, been good. Drain punch can come out here. And you're able to soak. So you get back some HP. We have our dragon that coming out here with ice spinner. It's going to work really, really well. And how much HP do we get back? Because we can always just recover again. Go back to full HP. Help us out. But what's that really going to do? We might as well just start attacking this thing. All of our moves are going to be not very effective. Yeah, we might as well just start attacking this thing. So Ice Spinner's going to come out here. We'll either Earth Power or Muddy Water, whichever one does more damage. And then we'll get after that way. What does more? They both do the same, but we can lower Accuracy or we can lower Special Defense. We're going to go for the Accuracy Drop. Accuracy Drop could definitely help us out here. But Ice Spinner's going to fly here. We got the Ice Spinner popping out on this thing. And one more turn. We have multi-scale, so we should be good here. Yep. Multi-scale, half set damage. That's just big time plays from us. Big time plays having this Dragonite in the back end. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to grab ourselves a lovely winning record for today's video. Iron Hands was definitely MVP in this battle right here. Definitely helping us out tremendously. Going plus four with sword stances. It was just amazing. But Ice Spinner comes in here. It's going to clean this one up. No problem whatsoever. Two and one for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 1 for today's video. Absolutely love this team. Like I said, my favorite support Pokemon to use on the rank ladder is Light Clay Grimstar, and it absolutely showed out today. Reflecting Light Screen made our team super bulky. Nobody was really able to kill us easily. It took them a while to actually kill us, so if we weren't playing like a Saul team or a team that 
which just totally boosted on stats. We pretty much had this game unlocked. We were so bulky. Again, nobody was killing us. We were able to set up sword stances. We we're able to get off multiple turns. We we're able to re recover HP. And in the long run, we just totally overwhelmed our opponents and ended up winning most of the matches. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.